check the coast is clear. Okay, good. Hello, lads and ladies, and welcome to the channel. You know, I think I've decided I'm going to focus a lot more on pet-related content on this channel. It is where I started, after all. So, pet-related guides, how to care for your tank, that kind of thing. So here's a gecko! And, if you didn't know, geckos can't actually walk in a straight line at all. You know what else is interesting when we think about straight lines? Walking across Russia in a perfectly straight line. Let's talk about that. Also, this gecko will appear somewhere in the video. Put a comment down below in the timestamp where it is and I'll pay you pal and I will pay pal and I will pay pal you 50 quid or something. Speaking of something, something I've been doing a lot lately is watching a YouTuber called GeoWizard. Now, you may know him mainly as Tommy D, or you may also know him as the man that walks across countries in a straight line. He's named this because he tends to walk across countries in a straight line. Or tried, and failed. And it's now trying again. Don't let us down this time. Let's be fair here. Walking across Wales in a straight line is no easy feat. Or ease on your feet. Boo. And along the way, there'd be... Barbed wire fences, hedgerows, farmers, rivers, mountains, forests, gorges, lakes, marshes, people's back gardens, and much more. Not bad, not bad at all. I'd never in a million years be able to do that. I want to spice up even more though. What if, instead of all that, we add in Siberia, Siberian tigers, bears, wolves, mountain, tundra, the Russian winter, the gulag. What if we added in communism itself? Well, we would all have to do a straight line, but only Tommy D would get rewarded. The die love pass. We're gonna be die love passing straight through Russia. Hell yeah. Now we need to know, is that even possible? Can you cross Russia in a straight line here yet? No. I'm gonna spoil it now. No, it's not possible. No. Please keep watching though and like the video. I wanna be friends with the algorithm. Let's get one thing as straight as our line. Russia is enormous. Absolutely colossal. It's crazy. It is about 7,600 kilometers. That's the length our line's gonna be, and we will get more into that later. But for now, you just need to know it's massive. It's about the length of 149 whales. Or just one or just one of your mama. <laughs> People have walked across Russia before. One notable one was Sergei uh, the second name. But look at this line. It's about as straight as the average Call of Duty player thinks I am whenever I get a kill on them. That just will not do. He does have the right idea crossing horizontally though. Because a vertical cross just doesn't seem fair, it's so much shorter. You can't really say, oh, I crossed Russia, if you cross it, cross it like at this tiny little point here. Doesn't count. Now call me old fashioned, it's just unfair. And by unfair I mean you're probably not gonna die. Probably. You still will. Even though the length width weighs is still like three whales long. And that's at its shortest point. It can go up to about 50 whales long. It's, it's still a massive country. Okay, let's not beat around the bush here. We are a straight line challenge. We go straight through them. Okay, I'm going to have to apologize for these things. I couldn't find a website that actually allowed me to draw a straight line without having this crap on it. So just, just ignore that. It's all good. Anyway, let's start at the start. Just past the, the river. And we're going to keep on going, just keep going past that river. You know, a small, a small little climb, nothing too bad. I don't think that's a lake. Uh, keep on going past that's definitely a lake, so, you know, good thing we're skirting low of that. Cross the Luga River, that's a nice spelling. Quite a thick river, so definitely stash a canoe. Canoe across, and then also bring it with you to there, so you can canoe across that as well. Uh, hopefully the guys in there aren't too mad about you canoeing across the lake, but I mean, yeah, what are they gonna do? Forest your way through this, uh, nothing too special though. Uh, you're gonna have to cross a motorway. Motorway is known for their ability to favour cars over people. You're gonna have to cross it one, two, three, four, five times, so, you know, best of luck there, be careful. This is the first, like, big human activity. You're gonna have to unfortunately go through this gentleman's house, that's just the way this line challenge goes, sorry. 
big old hill there, quite hilly, silly me. Now this is an issue. So what I'm thinking is when you come to a town like this, because there's no way you can avoid them all, we just say this whole thing is a break area. So you can like travel like all throughout this town, but because it's considered a break, you, can, you don't have to like follow the line and stuff. Because it's time to like refuel and crap. This is a lake. Now lake's famous for not letting people walk across them. So you're obviously going to have to stash a canoe here beforehand and then just, you know, skedaddle your way across and that's going to be a very significant point. That's a big journey and once you make it across there though, I think like the worst of it is behind you. You've made you know, a pretty impressive journey already and you've definitely covered a lot of ground. So, you know, fair play if you do make it that far and it should just be a hop, skip and a jump till the end. Hey, this, this is a fun fact. Did you know inflatable kayaks cost around, like, from 100 to 500 quid? No? You, you're going to need to learn that fact quite quickly because you're going to need at least, like, 69 of them. Nice. In order to cross all the lakes that are going to be on the line. And yes, I did individually count them and mark them off on the list. And keep in mind, I did leave out a lot of these in order to finish on 69. Point of the matter is, there is a lot of them. And with my handy dandy math machine, I can find out if we're doing 69 times 100, we're getting 6,900 kayaks. That is a lot of things we need to cross and a lot of money we need to spend in order to cross them. So here's the full line I have planned again. And I went into Street View to look at this line and just kind of see what we're going to be coming across. And it, it doesn't look too promising. I'm going to be perfectly honest. The, the chances of anyone making it across this in a perfectly straight line, pretty damn slim. And though it doesn't look like it, this massive forest is like 29 kilometers long. We're about half the width of Wales. And this as well doesn't take into account the brutal winters you're going to be crossing. Because I'm no climate or history expert, but three different dudes that tried to cross this and failed miserably. I don't think one British guy is going to, like, fare much better. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's go back to Tommy D. Because I, I, I don't like the outer net. It's, it's very scary. And just, the, you know, the sun, wind, rain. It, it's just unnatural to me. That's why he's going to be doing it, Tommy D. He's going to be crossing the Russia. Uh, he doesn't have a say in this. I've decided for him. So, pack your bags. And we're going to use his first straight line as like a, a guide to how to do Russia. In that video, there were several points where he stashed things in order to carry on his journey uninterrupted. The first one was the kayak. The second one was the food that was supposed to be with Joey. The one and only. Now, we never met Joey because Tommy D almost died in the mountains. However, he did give a direction of where he was going and I could figure out quite roughly the amount of distance he would need to travel. 40 kilometers or about one quarter the size of Wales. Okay, so here we have our lovely jubbly map of Russia, Russia. And if we just take our little drawing tool, draw a nice, nice line. Oh, bit too long. And again, it's kind of hard to know the exact distance, but I think I'm correct in saying 40 kilometers was the distance he was going to travel before needing to resupply. So if we just put 40 kilometers on that map, now keep in mind, every one of these lines he's going to need to, you know, resupply. That's the distance he's traveled. So let's just, just after it, just draw another one. Uh, that's 40 kilometers or so. Yeah, we're going to need uh, a fair few lines, a fair few little resupply points. But I think it's doable. We're definitely not rushing through this, but I'm, I'm quite bloody glad we're making it this far. Sadly, though, uh, it's going to get quite bad. Okay, how far do you think Tommy D traveled in a single day? Maybe 20, 30, 40 kilometers? I mean, if we look at Google, it says that the average human can travel around that dif distance in a day. So Tommy should be making good ground, right? To find out how far he was traveling, I took the distance from the beginning of the trip all the way up to past the first lake he could have walked across but decided to swim through. And that was where he set up camp. And that distance was 11 kilometers in a single day. So if we just take 11 kilometers and we put that next to the line in Russia and then Alright, you know what? Congratulations. You just crossed the river, whatever that says, and you've slept around here and now you've got to continue on for another day. Again, we've gone over how we found out the amount of distance Tommy covered before needing to sleep, so 
That's about 11 kilometers, I said, wasn't it? Oh, I just need to zoom out a bit. My apologies. And there we are. That's about 11 kilometers traveled. So, you know, decent distance, not too far. Uh, a bit of a jaunt to go and a few nights back there. So, tigers, whether that be yeah, sexual looking good. or just looking them good. trying to eat you, they're going to cost you a lot of time. So, it's going to be even slower. And if we just do uh, 7,600 divided by 11, that gives us 690 days. Also known as the time it would take to cross Wales 152 times, or even one year and 10 months to cross the Russian line. Well, I guess we can say you're definitely not Russian to finish this. <laughs> okay, serious time, this is impossible. Unless we want a dead body in the middle of the Russian forest, it's not going to happen. At all. If Tommy D seriously wants to do this, we're going to need to find out, you know, a different way. A more feasible way. And I don't like admitting this. We're going to have to go vertical. Or, the only slightly way this is going to be possible is if we have a group of people working around the clock ahead of you, dropping off supplies, food, you know, all that stuff, making sure all the canoes are in the right canoeing places, and just making sure that none of the above happens to you during this trip. Still unlikely. In that regard, it's actually possible, because it's just all up to the person walking across, whether they... In that regard, it's actually, like, you know, possible, just... If the person walking across Russia is actually able to do it. Probably won't, but, you know, you never know. Going back to vertical, though, this is the best vertical line I could find. Uh, you're going to be side barreling through a few houses. Oh, what? No, you can't You can't just go through my house like that. <laughs> Straight line go brrrr. <laughs> and we didn't really fix the lake problem at all. There's still a lot of lakes. Definitely a much shorter trip. Only about, you know... Four or five times the size of Wales. So it's not ideal, but it's definitely, you know, better. You won't definitely die. Just probably. Is it possible to walk across Russia in a straight line? The world may never know. This world will know the video, though, because you're all going to hit that like button. You're all going to subscribe. You're all going to turn on notifications. If you comment where the gecko was throughout this video, I will PayPal you 50 quid or something like that. No, you know what? I will. I will pay PayPal you 50 quid. I, I'm, a, I'm a kind person like that. Most importantly though, I hope you did enjoy the video and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you for watching Lantern Ladies and I'll see you all next time.